Alright guys, so Tim just left for work. He actually left a little bit ago and had to come back home. Um, he forgot to take his shot this morning, so he just came back and took that. Um, we got that thrown away so Ella's not playing with it. I mean, the needle's like receded way up in there, so it's not like she's gonna get hurt. But still, extra precautions, thrown away. Um, I just shipped out two cups a little bit ago, so those are done. I have one cup I need to work on. Um, I have, I've done dishes today, I've got laundry in, um, need to fold this load of laundry, um, and I don't think there's anything in the, uh, dryer, just a sock of Tim's that was in with her laundry, so, that's good, um, tonight's garbage night, I have to clean out our fridge, so, if you guys know, we only do garbage night once a night. We only take our garbage out of the house once a week. Um, not once a night, once a week. So, if we go out to dinner, say, Thursday or even Friday, we have leftovers in our takeout container that we're not going to eat. I put them in a bag and put them in the fridge so that I remember that they're garbage, but that this way they're not stinking up our garbage um, and causing, like, fruit flies to happen again or, you know, what have you. So, um... I put them back into the fridge and take care of it on garbage night. So it does cluster up our kitchen, or like our fridge a little bit, but I'd rather cluster up the fridge a little bit than to have some smelly garbage. So because there's nothing worse than your garbage starting to stink on like Thursday or Friday and have to wait until next Tuesday to do anything about it. It's the worst. So I need to go in and edit, but I'm really, really hungry. But I don't want to eat too much because I'm making my like deconstructed chicken pot pie later. And I want to eat as much of that as I can because it's so good. I don't get to make it as much anymore. But I'm just so hungry right now that I just want to eat but I don't know what to eat. Uh, I could have leftover lasagna I guess. But at the same time I don't want lasagna. I know it needs to get eaten though, but does anyone else get like that? They make something because it sounds good and then you eat it one time and then you just don't want it anymore and you have bunches of leftovers. Um, let's see. I can make my pizzas. I guess I'll do that. I'll make these pizzas um, half or one and a half for me and the other half for Ella. Sounds like a fair trade. This way it's going to get me full, but it's not going to get me like overly full to where I'm not going to want to eat dinner today. That works out. So, 375? Yes. Uh. 375 it'll auto convert it down to 350 we have a convection oven that it auto converts so if i hit 375 it'll drop down to 350 if i set it at 425 it'll drop down to 400 um like automatically because of the convection cooking so it makes it nice just putting away a few dishes here that were on the top of the stove um, Ella is back in the sunroom right now. She's playing with some dry erase markers and a dry erase board. She's doing that. Um, like I said, I'm going to go in and edit because I desperately need to edit. I'm not going to be doing anything else until my editing is at least done. It needs done badly. Um, I ended up getting an Etsy order that I'm really confused on. Um, so, I got this Etsy order for six Remembrance Candles. Um, and I'm really confused because they don't want, like, a date and time or anything like that, like, personalized. Which, not date and time, but, like, date and name. That's totally fine. That's I don't mind. You know, it just makes things a little bit easier, a little bit cheaper. A little bit faster um but they want the like all candles are white but they want white 
design on it. So they want a white candle with a white design that says your wings were ready but our hearts were not. And I'm just not comprehending in my mind why they want it that way. Uh, because, you know, at the end of the day, you're not going to be able to see the design on the candle very well. Um, if at all. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm not understanding what she's requesting. So I messaged her to verify. Maybe she accidentally hit the color choice. I have no idea. Um, I'm really hoping we can get it figured out together. Um, but for right now, I need to edit. And why do those have check marks? Okay. Um, but... Uh, yeah, so there is a couple of other things that I want to talk to you guys about in a little bit. Um, but for now, I need to edit and make sure things get done real quick. What the heck? There it goes. My one shot didn't want to open, which is what I use to edit my videos. Um, anyways, so I will talk to you guys in a little bit regarding my cycle and everything like that, but I need to edit real quick before I can do anything, because I haven't edited in well over two weeks at this point, so. Alright guys, so I just finished editing. It's 6.30 right now. Um, so, about the whole cycle thing so I posted in my YouTube group last night um, over on Facebook I posted over there and said that it was single day one you know I started my period that type of thing because I went to go to the bathroom last night and I wiped and it was pink so I put a pad on because when I first start, I don't like to wear tampons. I usually, like if I'm home, um, I will just stick with the pad until I notice that it starts to get a little heavier because let me tell you guys what, if you don't know uh, or don't use tampons, when you pull out a tampon that is unused, ugh, like if it's the very beginning of your cycle or like the very end and you thought you needed another one and you pull it out it feels like sandpaper so I didn't want to have that experience <laughs> I've had that happen quite often to me so um, I was like no nope, I'll just toss on a pad so I went to the bathroom two or three times um, last night and it was still pink when I wiped it like that's all right you know Usually my cycle starts at night when I'm sleeping is when I usually have the problems. Um, but I figured maybe it was just coming a little earlier. It gave me a little bit of a heads up so I could prepare myself for that night. Um, so I put on a pad, ended up going to bed, didn't think twice about it, woke up this morning and there was absolutely nothing on my toilet paper. Um, it wasn't pink, it wasn't brown, like old kind of blood nothing you know it was just white toilet paper so I don't know if like I don't know I asked in my YouTube group if people like what they thought it could be it's a couple of people said it sounds like implantation bleeding well I had called my OBGYN yesterday to let her know that my cycle hadn't started um, this was before I had like the the very light spot spotting um, and she told me that she was going to get a hold of my doctor and, you know, figure out our next steps. So she called me back this morning. Um, I didn't answer because I was still in bed when she called. It was like 8.30 this morning that she called. Um, I was still asleep, so I ended up calling her back and she said that my doctor wants me to wait until Friday and if I don't get any bleeding by Friday oh excuse me if I don't get any bleeding by Friday I have to go and get a blood results so just ignore everything that I was just saying 
came in here just to take a first response just because, you know, after yesterday and everything. Looked at the cup. Didn't look like normal pee. Wiped. And there she was. So, 